there are various tests that are available for male infertility and there are various management and treatment protocols also that have been made for it so the test that these basically involve all your medical disorders so many time what happens your thyroid levels or your sugar levels they are also causing infertility it's not that in only you are getting a semen analysis done and then you are thinking okay everything is going to be fine no no we need to check you for everything so the medical disorders they are also responsible for male infertility so the test will include all your medical disorders also plus the test related to your semen analysis your semen culture whether you are having any infection in the semen your all your hormonal tests related which are responsible for the male reproductive organs those tests will also be done on you plus the genetic test will be done if you are having azospermia because the moment we are planning that okay now we are we will be doing a tisa the ivf icsi process is going to be done we need to ascertain that the sperm that is going to come out from your testicular area in fnsc you are having the sperm so that sperm that is going to come out from the testicular area that is very healthy it is genetically normal it is very important to know this so all the these genetic tests and these non genetic tests these are the tests that we do for a male infertility the treatments are variously available like you have to maybe we go for we put you on medications maybe some nutraceuticals at times some hormones also in calculated doses for flare therapy we can go for testicular prp also if you have got azospermia or penile prp in patients with erectile dysfunction and we go for tisa micro tz so there are a whole lot of cafeteria choice that is available for male infertility right now including basic from icsi to taking you to micro tz so it depends where you are standing so it's not that if you are having azospermia if you are having less sperm count you are not going to conceive and having sex is a different thing and having baby is a different thing this i tell to everybody it's not necessary that your semen analysis count is low or you're having azospermia then you're not going to have a good sexual drive so just take this out of your mind if your semen analysis is low that this is going to affect your sexual drive no this is not going to affect or if your sexual drive is affected that is a different issue you need to consult your doctor for that and that has to be uh, that is totally separate from this we care about you